move on. We miss the yeah, Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jerry from the StogieView.com bringing you another video cigar review. And this week, I'm bringing you another Cuban cigar. It's the Jose La Piaggia cigar. Let's see if the camera focuses. There we go. So, the Jose uh, La Piaggia, this is the crema size, which actually is a uh, Five and three eighths inch long with a 40 inch ring gauge. Uh, these come in small boxes of five, and when you order them uh, from my source, at least you get five five packs uh, for so that's 25 of these guys for around $40 uh, for the five five packs of them. Uh, uh, the interesting thing you're probably wondering why they're so so affordable. Uh, the interesting thing about these guys is that they're machine made Cuban cigars. Um, I've been smoking them now. I got a couple uh, of a couple five packs of these uh, in the mail uh, a while ago, and I've been smoking them uh, pretty religiously. And I thought it'd be time to to share my experience with you out there on this on this Cuban die. Um, as you can see, I'm not sure how much you can see, but uh, it's not. It's a very rough uh, looking cigar. You can tell uh, uh, it's not the most well made. Uh, looking cigar but uh, uh, the pricing on there is what uh, is what amazes me the pricing and, and the flavors you get out of it's what uh, kind of offsets the fact that it's machine made and the fact that uh, it's such a rough looking cigar all right so plug it away here at my uh, JLP crema size uh, JLP is what it's kind of the abbreviation for Jose Piaggia uh, Piaja. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but you know, hey, I've never uh, been one to take a shot at pronouncing it, and uh, I'm sure someone will come along and correct me later. Anyways, uh, these are machine made Cuban cigars. Uh, one thing uh, to keep an eye out for when you smoke these, uh, it's all short filler, and so you'll be picking out little bits of a uh, little tobacco, little bits of tobacco from your mouth uh, every, every, every now and then. <laughs> um, but so far, so good. I'm a little ways into it. Um, nice, uh, earthy flavor, uh, starting out with with a little bit of a sweet finish here. Uh, kind of getting a few hints of a creaminess uh, starting to develop. So, you know, so far the flavors are there. Uh, like, you know, like I said, uh, construction's not the greatest in the world. It's actually kind of sad. Uh, but that's not, uh, I, I think, the pricing of these guys offset the construction issues. Uh, well, I guess it's the, the combination of pricing and flavors that offset the, the make you overlook the construction issues. Uh, these kind of remind me of the of the uh, Fuente Curly Heads. You guys know, not the Curly Head Deluxes, but the uh, the Curly Heads, the one with uh, no bands and they just come wrapped in cellophane with no, like I said, unbanded. Um, and you get like waxers of 40 of them for like 50 bucks or something like that. I know I've recommended the curly heads as a as a cigar for uh, for the occasional cigar smoker if you're having a party or a bachelor party or what have you and you're in charge of picking up uh, picking up the cigars the the curly heads are a good good choice because you don't sink a lot of money into it and uh, they still give you pretty good flavors and that's how I feel about so far about the the Jose Piedras here uh, you, they don't break the bank uh, of course they don't look uh, they don't look all that great, but they smoke. They smoke well, you know. Nice uh, as far as uh, even even burn. Um, they're just not a not something uh, that's pretty to look at. Well, I don't know if you could tell on camera or not, but I got a little sun. The wife and I spent last week uh, in Cancun. Some of you on Twitter and, and Facebook. Uh, probably kept up with my updates uh, uh, while I was there. I have a hard time disconnecting from from technology. It's not something I'm good at. I just feel kind of lost when I don't have an internet connection or a cell phone or whatever. Uh, but anyways, it was great. You know, we stayed at the Ritz Carlton and in their club level it was our first time. Uh, we've been to Cancun before, but this is the first time actually staying at at the Ritz and, and the whole club level experience. And that was just that was just amazing. I mean, they had food around the clock. Uh, free drinks you know it was just you know it, it was just amazing and I just walk out my room and say hey can I have a glass of champagne or do you have any other sandwiches from lunch left over you know and you know they hook you up and it was all included in, in, in the pricing of the room and 
that was great weather was amazing i mean we're talking you know mid to low 80s during the day and and maybe uh a high 60s high to low 60s in, in the evening so it was it was wonderful it was quite a shock uh, coming back uh, it was kind of actually quite painful coming back and you get off the, get off the plane and and it's 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 50 60 degrees cooler from when you woke up uh it was quite uh quite shocking and uh man it was just it's cold here man glad uh glad i'm inside reviewing cigars instead of instead of outside uh so you know yeah you know cancun was great it was a uh, fantastic uh, getaway uh got to relax a lot and just be uh pampered and catered to i know michelle uh michelle went and got a went to the spa for the day and, and got nice spa treatments and massages so i know she's she was feeling good so it was great uh you know we got back and and then uh, the day after we got back on friday and saturday you know got together with my brother and uh i believe agent 15 i can't remember if that's his with agent 15 or or dennis camacho over at the cigar spy um uh and d camacho on on twitter came over and we watched the pacquiao de la hoya fight and had tons of cigars and beer and champagne and and yeah it was just great we had a great time and uh, unfortunately, you know, Manny won, so that was great. You know, we were hoping for a better fight. Uh, uh, De La Hoya kind of pussied out, I think, there. And uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if you watched the fight or saw the highlights or not, but that first punch, something happened in the first round where, where Manny must have hit Oscar and just kind of shook Oscar because after, like, the first 30 seconds of the first round, Oscar just was out of it. I mean, you know, and then he ended up uh, calling it quits after the seventh round or after the eighth round. Uh, but uh, it was quite disappointing. Uh, <laughs> to see to see the fight end that way, and I remember the, the best thing about the fight was the after fight interview. Uh, the guy goes up to De La Hoya and says, "You did this to yourself," which was just kind of like, "Ouch!" Like a bitch slap. Pretty much just calling Oscar a bitch. Uh, uh, it was quite it was quite funny, but it was a great time with my brother and and, and Dennis, and uh, uh, had some great great smoke at great smokes and and, and uh, great laugh. All right, about halfway through with my Jose Piaggio Cremo size, and uh, you know, I, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. You know, early on I talked about uh, it had kind of an earthy, earthy flavor with a sweet finish, uh, and, a, and, and you know, and, and and now you know you still get that earthy flavor. It's a, a creamy flavor with it's so an earthy creaminess is the predominant flavor. You still get a, a a sweet, consistent finish on it. I mean, it's burning really well, no burn issues. Uh, the draw is a little. A little loose, and 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 you're still picking out uh, little bits of short fill of tobacco uh, every now and then, uh, and I'm surprised at the rough look of the cigar. Uh, uh, I mean, you could see uh, some veins there. The rough, uh, the rough veins, the rough look of the cigar isn't aren't aren't affecting the burn. Um, haven't had a relight, you know. So I mean, you're, you're here we're talking forty, fifty dollars. Uh, a box for for 25 of these guys um, and they're Cubans uh, you know uh, I, I think they make a good introductory level uh, introductory into Cuban cigars I mean uh, they had that Cuban-esque feel to it Cuban-esque aroma to them uh, nice fla nice crisp easy identifiable flavors it's a very uncomplicated Cuban cigar um, you know, you could you could buy you could spend your money and buy you know your Paragas Series D, you can your Monies, your Romeos, your Cohibas, um, and you know, and, and you kind of when you when you spend the money on that, you kind of wonder, am I not getting my money's worth? By that mean, I mean am I these cigars? Those cigars are usually very complicated flavor profiles, and you might not pick them up, pick up all the flavors, and so you might be you might think you're cutting yourself short. So you know, these guys, I think, in my opinion, are are, are good. Uh, a good introductory to Cuban cigars or a good everyday Cuban cigar. It's not the best Cuban cigar out there. It's not even the best cigar out there. Uh, there you know, there's definitely uh, uh, cigars in that price range that are better than the Jose Pagia, but if you're looking to get into Cuban cigars, I think this might be a good place good place to start. Well, you know, I want to keep my uh, I have to keep my review short. All in all, I, I, you know, there are people out there who, who talk about the the Cazadora size. It's coming in different sizes. I think six sizes altogether. Uh, there's a Cazadora size, which is a, which is a bigger 
and then this size, and then there's the Breva size, which is a little, a little bit shorter. Um, I, I've tried all the different sizes. I, I, I like the Crema size here, um, mainly because with the with the uh, Casadora size, uh, it's a little too long, um, and it's about a little past halfway point. The cigar for me, in my experience, starts to burn hot. It starts to get hot, uh, harsh, and the flavors, and it just, I think it's just uh, a too long of a smoke to appreciate um, fully. The the shorter Breva size, I think, uh, when you smoke it, it, it's too short for the cigar to fully develop, uh, and that's why the Crema size I think is 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 kind of, is the perfect size. It's it's long enough, and, and it's long enough for the flavors to develop. It doesn't get doesn't burn hot towards the end. Doesn't get harsh. The flavors are all there. And you know, and I, I just think it's a uh, it, it's the size that I enjoy uh, out of out of those three those the, th the those three that I named. Uh, well, the two I named plus this one are, are usually the three most popular sizes uh, for the JLP. Um, pricing, like I said, uh, you, you can't beat it. I mean, twenty five cigars for a round, depending on the size, you know, anywhere from forty to fifty dollars. Yeah, they're Cubans. Uh, uh, you know, I, I I just think they're a good introductory level cigar if you're looking to get into Cuban cigars without breaking the bank, um, uh, or or uh, you won't feel bad if you have to put it down if you don't have the time to com to to commit to it. Uh, you won't feel bad putting it down. As whereas if you know you pick up a a Monte Number Two or a, a Cohiba or or whatever, you might feel a little bad if you only got halfway through it and had to put it down and run and do something. So so. Um, Again, I'm not saying it's not the best cigar, not the best cigar, not the best Cuban cigar, not the best non-Cuban, not the best cigar at all. Uh, but it's a decent cigar. It's a good, uh, a good solid cigar. Flavors are there. Flavors are nice and crisp, easy identifiable. Um, um, yeah, and it's very enjoyable. I mean, it doesn't put off any kind of uh, offend offensive aroma. Uh, I'm loving the smell of it. You know, the wife doesn't object to the smell of the cigar sometimes. When I smoke certain cigars, the uh, uh, the aroma will get to her. It'll be a little too strong or too foul smelling, I guess you would say. Uh, and not so much with the JLP here. Um, so if you're into Cuban cigars, um, it, well, if you're into Cuban cigars, I'm sure you know all about the JLP. I'm not saying anything needy. It's a great, uh, inexpensive bargain level uh, Cuban. Uh, it's a machine made. The only downside is since it's machine made, it uses short filler, and you'll spend uh, a lot of time picking. Uh, picking the short filler from your teeth or inside your mouth and whatnot. Um, that's about it. I mean, it's a, it's an enjoyable cigar. Uh, it's definitely something I'm going to keep in my humidor for days where I want a Cuban and uh, not going to feel bad if I don't have the time to, to finish it. So, uh, that's about it. Continue to enter into the 12 days of Christmas to the Stogie Review. And uh, I look forward to the comment love. I'm um, very much dreading going back to work. I haven't been back to work. Haven't been to work since uh, the Monday before Thanksgiving, so it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> so I'm dreading going back in the office, the office tomorrow. But hey, yeah, can't go on vacation if you ain't got a job. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, have a great week. I'll see you all again next week. Until then, long ass.